Namaste students. Department of School Education, Siddhipek, warmly welcomes you to the Bridge Codes English. Students, in today's session, we are going to discuss about some of the basics of letter writing. My name is Bhaskar and I am from ZPHS Gambirpur. You know what, children? Letter writing is a long forgotten art. With the emerging of new technologies, mobile phones have made letter writing a forgotten art. Yet it is alive in offices and business firms. We even today write many letters in offices and business firms. Letters are broadly two types and they are formal letters and informal letters. What are formal letters? Almost all the letters that are written in offices and business firms are called as formal letters. We write applications, we write complaints, we write proceedings for the smooth functioning of the offices, we write proceedings giving the details about what to do and what not to do in the government offices. Even the government releases certain government audits. These are all formal letters. And when it comes to business firms, in business firms, people write request letters, orders, and they write various letters for various transactions. And they also write letters which are related to recruitment activity. So these are all formal letters. Now let's have a look at some informal letters. So what are informal letters? Informal letters are those which are written to family members, friends and relatives. See, I, I don't think that now people are writing letters to their family members but once people use it to write letters to their family members now it's a forgotten thing but even let us assume that if a student is living away with the family in a far off location he writes letters to his family family then we write letters for various purposes, like we write invitations, we send invitations to our friends, we write some personal letters to our friends, we write acceptance letters, we write regret letters. Similarly, we write invitations, intimations, acceptance letters, and regret letters for relatives as well. So these are all called as informal letters. Now let us see what are the parts of a letter. To begin with the formal letter. A formal letter shouldn't must consist the heading. Here in the heading, the heading should contain the written. Heading contains the written address with the date on the last line and the recipient's address. This is the address you are sending your letter to. You write the salutation. Salutation is the part of the letter where you uh, greet the person who, who is reading that letter, to whom you have sent the letter. The body of the letter in which you write the details, in which you write the actual information 
for which you are writing the letter. Then after the body of the letter, you write some concluding sentences, a complimentary closure. And after the closing sentences, you write the signature line. In formal letters, we often see this particular aid section, enclosures, where you give the details of the documents that you are enclosing, that you are sending along with that letter. Let's see the format of a formal letter. So how these uh, parts of the letter are written on a piece of paper. I advise you that whenever we are writing formal letters, confine your letter to one single page. Let's have a look at the format first. Now, as you can see on the screen, the very in the very beginning, we write the sender's address. Then we write the date. After that, we write the receiver's address. Then comes the subject line, salutation, body of the letter. And at the end, subscription and the sender's details. Now, let's have a look at one sample formal letter. with the specified format. Now here is the letter that you can see on the screen, a sample letter with the, with the prescribed format. Now here in the beginning, you see the from address, then after that the to address, then the salutation part, here, as I said, dear Mr. or uh, Miss, respected sir. So these are the sentences that we often use in the salutation part in formal letters. And then the body of the letter. And after that, a subscript, subscription, subscript, sincerely yours. And after that, the signature part. Now. Let us see the formal letter with the subject line. Because in, our, in formal letters, we often write the subject line and the reference line. And in the sample letter, in the sample format, I have mentioned about only the subject line here. After the salutation, we write the subject line. And in the subject line, we have to write the details about the letter in a very, very miniature form. Like I, here, I, I would say that we just give the gist of the letter in the subject line. And after the subject line, we write the reference section. In the reference section, we give the details of the letters, of the previous letters that we have received from the recipient. Uh, we also provide the details of the different letters based on which you are writing this particular letter. Now on the screen, you can see that how uh, this particular letter is written on a piece of paper, leaving a clear margins. I would suggest that one to one and a half inch of margins on the left side and of course on the top of the paper. Now, let us have a look at an informal letter. Now on the screen, you can see an informal letter. So we really don't write any subject line or reference line clearly in an informal letter. We write the address, from address, then the salutation, then the body of the letter, and after that, some subscript. Or sometimes we don't even write the subscript, simply leave our uh, initial, or uh, write our name.
the differences between a formal and informal data. There are some distinguished differences between a formal and an informal data in two areas. Greetings in informal letter and uh, greetings in formal letter. In informal letter, as we are writing to our peer groups or to our friends, we really don't uh, use any formal language. We simply say hello friend in the salutation part. But whereas in formal letter, we say dear sir. We are allowed to write hi, our dear friend, in the uh, greetings part, in the, in the salutation part, in informal letters, whereas in uh, formal letters, we write respected, sir. Next, let's have a look at the differences between a formal, let formal letter and an informal letter. In the closing phrases, when we're closing in an informal letter and how we close, a formal letter. In an informal letter, we often use the phrase like yours lovingly as the subscript, and yours sincerely in formal letter. Whereas in the informal letter, write you simply yours. In a formal letter, we write yours truly. We write lo lovingly yours. And in informal, informal letters, we write yours faithfully. And we often see that the students writing yours obediently in the letters they write to their class teachers. Now, that's all for today's students. Stay safe and take care. And don't forget to attempt the work worksheet that is provided along with this video.